Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some tips to optimize NVIDIA control panel for the game Hogwarts Legacy. To do that, open NVIDIA control panel. Navigate to manage 3D settings. Select global settings. Now, I recommend you disable image scaling if this feature enabled. Image scaling may sound exciting to you as it adds some extra bit of sharpness to your game. However, in reality, the added bit of sharpness is barely perceivable and the performance increase is not substantial. In some cases, turning on image scaling can put extra load on the GPU decreasing its sustainable performance. Next, turn off ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion enhances the shadow effect allowing you realistic gameplay by improving the physics of the game. This way, you will be able to notice every little detail that wasn't noticeable before. In reality, this setting isn't very helpful, that's why it should be turned off. Next, the anti-aliasing settings. If you want to have smooth edges then go for anti-aliasing. There are three kinds of anti-aliasing in NVIDIA control panel, let us talk about all of them. Anti-aliasing FXAA, it should be turned off as most games don't support this feature, but if you know there is a game in your library that supports FXAA, you can enable it. Anti-aliasing Gamma Correction, enabling it will help your game to manage gamma. Anti-aliasing Mode, set it to application controlled to avoid any conflict. Anti-aliasing Transparency, turn it off as it puts way too much load on your system and decreases its FPS. Just configure all the anti-aliasing menus according to the aforementioned way and you will be good to go. DSR Factors. The DSR means, Dynamic Super Resolution. Using this setting, in simple steps, you can have 4K resolution on a 1080p screen, hassle-free. Just keep in mind, if you have an inferior computer, avoid this setting, or just don't go all the way to 4K. You can also tweak the DSR smoothness option to increase or decrease the graphics. Low Latency Mode. Depending on what kind of latency you are experiencing, you can either enable or disable this feature. If you experience input lag, go ahead and turn it on, if not, leave it turned off. Just make sure to make this setting global, as it can affect all games in an unprecedented manner. Max Frame Rate. Max Frame Rate allows you to set the game frame rate and reduces the GPU frequency when used together with power management set at optimal power, thus long battery life. However, if you want to have low latency then enable max frame rate with power management set at prefer maximum performance. However, make sure to make this setting global as well, just configure it on a game-to-game -game basis, and see if you notice any performance difference. Multi-frame sampled AA. If you want to have an MSAA-like anti-aliasing feature but no compromisation in your performance then multi-frame sampled A or MFAA for short should be your pick. Although there will be a slight difference in the visual quality, you will have better performance, and for gaming that matters a lot. Keep in mind that MFAA can only be used when an application that supports 2x MSAA or greater is rendering a file. I recommend you turn on it if this feature off. Power Management Mode Power Management Mode allows you to control your GPU when playing any DirectX or OpenGL games. Prefer Maximum Performance is the option that you can use to optimize NVIDIA for Hogwarts Legacy. Texture Filtering Texture filtering as the name suggests is used to determine the texture quality of the screen and you will have a better gaming experience. In texture filtering, there are four options, let us talk about each one. Texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization, turn it off. Texture filtering negative LOD bias, set it to clamp if you don't want glitches. Texture filtering quality, set it to quality. Texture filtering trilinear optimization, turn it on. The final setting, vertical sync. V-Sync adjusts the refresh rate according to the frame rate of your monitor. Doing so allows you better image quality as this stops screen tearing and there will be no more glitches and horizontal tearing on your screens. So, if screen tearing interferes with your gaming experience and causes frequent screen tears, you should enable V-Sync. 
On the other hand, if you are facing input lag or a decreased frame rate, turning V-Sync off will be the correct alternative. In most cases, V-Sync does not present any problems, hence keeping it on is a safe choice. That's it guys. Keep in mind, you may not have to make all the changes mentioned here, or maybe not all changes work for you.